In this video, I'll show you how we can use the funnel overview in the funnel shoot dashboard and how we can basically use this to diagnose our funnel steps and see what we have to improve using Funnel Nudge. And we can also basically manipulate the figures to show us some targets that we want to try and hit as well. So as you can see here, we're on the Funnel Shoot dashboard. And here is the Funnel Overview section of the dashboard at the moment. And what we can see here is actual figures within the time range that we have selected up the top here. So we currently have the 1st of November until the 1st of December 2019. And these are actual figures taken from our ad account which is selected up in the top left corner here, which we choose when we sign up. Now, again, we can have up to 10 ad accounts in here and we can choose them at the start or we can go into the settings tab and we can add more ad accounts in for the future. If, for example, our store has multiple ad accounts connected. So on the funnel overview here, let's just run through what we can see. We can see link clicks, we can see content views, add to cart, initiate checkouts, payment info, and obviously the purchases at the bottom as well. Now these are all unique properties of each step at the funnel. So these are unique link clicks, unique content views, unique add to carts, unique initiate checkouts, unique payment info as well. And in the green here, we can actually see that these are conversion rates from the last step to the next step. And in the red, we can see drop offs as well. Now up the top here in the funnel overview, we have two tabs, which is percentage and currency as well. Now you can work in either or, whichever you prefer, but if we click here onto currency, it will show the exact same figures, but with a monetary value. So now you can see here, we actually have a cost of click and a cost of content view and the cost per add to cart as well here. And it goes down the funnel to show you the rest of the figures as well. If we go back to percentage, we can see that it changes back to the actual conversion rates as well from the previous step to the next step. So looking at this funnel, if we wanted to just diagnose this here, we can actually see the different conversion rates and drop offs. Now let's see if I wanted to diagnose this and see how much money I'm losing. So what I would do is I change it to currency and I can see here that this is the money that I'm losing at each step here, which is the drop off of each part of the funnel. And as you can see from content view, to add to cart, I've got a 9.5% conversion rate here, which is the green. And the monetary value, because I've got currency selected here, I can see I'm losing over $4,000 just at this step alone. So this would be a good one to start with. I can also have a look down the bottom here and can see that my cost per purchase is $56. Now this is another good place to start if you want to see that maybe your ads aren't performing within your target CPA and you need to get this down to maybe for example, $50. So what we can do here is we can actually look at this funnel and then decide which we want to take into nudge mode. So if I was to click nudge and then put the funnel into downwards nudge, which is this arrow here, I can then manipulate any of these figures. Now there is a separate video on this. If you go into the knowledge base, you can see how to work all the features of nudge. So we aren't going to go into this in detail here. But what we can do is basically see um, what would happen if we manipulated the content view. So let's manipulate this up to 12%. And we can see just by changing this, the monetary value changes here. I saved a couple of hundred dollars. And also my cost per purchase went down as well, just from changing this content view from add to cart. Now let's see if I could actually get this up to 15%, which is basically on my landing page. You can see I saved another couple of hundred dollars. And again, the cost per purchase is going down at the same time. So this is how you diagnose your funnel. Again, you can look into any of these steps, manipulate anything you like here. And you can just basically look at these conversion rates and the drop offs as well. And again, you can click percentage if you want to see conversion rates at each step. Now there will be other videos within this section where we're going to show you examples of taking your link click down or even taking your cost per purchase to the target CPA as well. So I hope that helped diagnose your funnel and if you've got any other questions please reach out to our support team and we'd be happy to help you there.